then that is a different story. The director of Wandegeya Medical Center, Dr. Everest Baruga, was at pains to explain the hygiene conditions at his clinic to KCCA officials who claimed it has failed to manage its medical waste. So I don't know about those. How can I go and find out, is it my expertise to know what is inside there? I don't know who brought them, but I'm not responsible for that. The Nabugabo Abdil Joint Venture, a company responsible for garbage collection within the city, saying they are not obligated to deal with garbage that has been contaminated with used medical material. What we had to do was to inform our bosses, the KCCA members, and they came, they talked to the doctor, but still the doctor insisted. Unfortunately, we found even the syringes that contain blood. If they might have found it, that something has been dumped there for years. Okay. Why do I become responsible to bring a, I mean to bring a, a truck to, bring, uh, to take those things away? As I have told you, the amount of needles I have is so small. This is like asking you to bring a truck to carry a chicken when you are coming from Makerere to the town. Health experts at KCCA say this is a common practice around clinics in Kampala, a vice they are now trying to deal with. Nabugabo is taking organic, you know, it's not taking what? The medical waste. So Musei has, what he has to do is to get the medical waste, which up to now he hasn't got the people to take the medical what? The medical waste. We have kids, kids spray around, the needles will inject what? They will pierce them. Such garbage that has medical waste in it is not only risky to the public but also to the collectors. The clinic was saved from closure only because it had a resident patient. KCCA, however, issued its director with a notice of improvement valid for only two days. Medical waste poses a serious threat to both public health and the environment if not disposed of properly, with risks including potential infectious diseases. Irene Namialo, NTV.